twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the borgoves, and the momraths outgrabe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the manxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum-tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And... As in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock, with eyes of flame, came whiffling through the tulgy wood, and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumping back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy, O oh, frabjous day, Kaloo, Calais! he chortled in his joy. "'Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the borgoves, and the momraths outgrabe. Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll, 1872 Hey guys, Shadefire here as always, and uh, welcome to a very special episode of Let's Play American McGee's Alice. If you'll remember from last time... We are now at the Jabberwock's lair. A, uh, back in, earlier in the episodes, I said that there was one boss I knew of ahead of time, and, well, this is it. Kind of obvious, really, if you know Carol's works, but I'm really looking forward to this, so uh, let's jump right in. You can see we're in the land of fire and brimstone there on the right. Map's starting to fill out, too. Have you never heard that punctuality is a virtue? You and my dentist's assistant have much in common. You're habitually late, aren't you? Between your dim-witted daydreaming and your cream vanity, the hours just fly by. There's barely time for anything else. That the best you can do? Hurl second-rate insults, they don't hurt. Your family was expecting you to come to them, weren't they? Perhaps they thought you might warn them of the danger, being close to the source as you were. But they waited in vain, didn't they? And died for their trouble. We were all asleep. It was an accident. I... Selfish, misbegotten and unnatural child. You smell the smoke, but you were in dreamland taking tea with your friends. You couldn't be bothered. Your room was protected and spared, while your family upstairs roasted in an inferno of incredible... Well, this is the Jabberwock, and as you can tell right away, he's pretty fucking huge. The arena we're fighting in is a giantified version of Alice's house that burned down, obviously. And, uh, yeah. So I have no idea how to fight him yet. But the jacks seem like a good weapon for this kind of thing. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping I wouldn't catch. You can see he's also all mechanized. I'm guessing the uh, hatter patched him up after he got beheaded. So I'm thinking just run in circles, hit him with... The jacks actually don't seem to use up any magic, so I sh or not very much, so I can probably just hit keep hitting him with those. I'll go away. He doesn't seem too bad yet, other than that one fire attack. Oh shit. Ah, I was hoping I wouldn't fall off for once. Alright, well, for completion's sake, I'm gonna try different stuff on him. Just gotta get rid of this thing, because it's just gonna cause me trouble. really hard to avoid. 
Mm. If only we had a Vorpal Sword of sorts. We got a Vorpal Knife, but that's not quite the same thing. Well, this is already going, well, predictably bad. Especially because those things that he spawns don't actually drop very much in the way of magic. Which could be a bit of a problem. At my feet. Now run backwards. I got both of them. Okay, well, this is not quite working out. Oh god, he shoots lasers from his forehead? That set me on purple fire. What the hell? <laughs> god damn it. Uh, boss fights. I can see those little guys getting really annoying in this fight. Because uh, they're pretty tough on their own. Aw, oh, you jerk. <laughs> one thing you'll notice he's missing is that in one of the uh, original depictions of the Jabberwocky, back when the book was first published, he was wearing a vest. Oh, jeez. The eagles are coming again. Oh, he lost one of his eyes. Hurry, Alice. The eye staff is yours. The troops are gathered. Everything is ready. I'll deal with the Jabberwock. You are our champion. Lead us to victory in Queensland. Somehow I doubt that the uh, Griffin can actually take the Jabberwocky, but whatever. We'll just take this staff, and oh, it looks like we're going back to Caterpillar's plot. That was, uh, was not as climactic as I expected. But, uh, well, we'll see where things go from here.